Hello and welcome to Broadsword Wargaming. In this video, I'm going to show you how I make fast, cheap and easy realistic rocks. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please do think about subscribing for more videos to come because for this one, I'm going to do something a little bit different, kind of like a hobby hint video uh, about using rock molds. Now, I've had these in my drawer for quite a while, but only recently started using them when I've been doing some board builds with Luke from Luke's APS. So do check his channel out. We've done some big six by four, massive, sort of almost like mountains of rock molds, and I've used a lot of these now. And I thought it's about time I show you how easy they are to use and how you shouldn't really be afraid to just get stuck in and do it. All you really need is the Woodland Scenics rock molds. You can see which ones I'm using and I will show you in the videos, but actually check the links below, the associate links, you can buy them from Amazon there. It's quite a few you can buy, but I'm just using two here for this video. You'll need some casting plaster and some water and that is it. So stick around to the end. I'll show you what they look like and I'll give you a little rundown of why I think they're the best. So here's a list of the things you're gonna need. You're gonna need some plain old water in a jug so you can pour it, or a cup or a mug. Doesn't really matter, just plain old tap water. The next thing you're going to need is casting plaster. Now you can get this from pretty much any builder's merchants around the country. There are very hard types of plaster and less so. It's not the strongest you can get, but the advantage to this not being the strongest you can get is you can actually break it. You will want to snap some of these rock molds and carve them down and make sure they fit onto what you're doing. And the final thing you're gonna need is the actual molds themselves. These are from Woodland Scenics. I've got two types here. There are several different ones you can have. They make loads of them. They're sort of 12, 15, 18 pound a pop, I think. These are great. They're bendy, they're reusable. I've used these myself a few times before. Just give them a little wash out afterwards and you'll have no problems at all. You're going to need a little mixing bowl of some sort to put the plaster and the water in together a spatula or something just to level the back and give it a good old stir. Put some casting plaster in there. This is a bit of a judgment by eye. I'd normally have a little cup or something, but as I'm only doing a few rock molds to show you guys, I'll sort of take a guess at how much I think I'm going to need. Then you pour some water into it. Now you want this to go to like a thick double cream type texture or milky texture. The thicker this is, the less it's going to drop into all the gaps and get all those details, but it will dry fastest. Bit of a pro and con depending on what you're doing. It takes 10, 15 minutes to dry in this way anyway. Give it a good old stir. Try and get any lumps out of there. Make sure you've got all the dry powdery parts out and keep stirring this until it is all smooth as can be. Add more water if you're feeling new to it. I think mine's a tiny bit thick, so I've actually stuck a little more water into this. Don't be too heavy handed as I did the first time I just tried this because I put far too much water in it and it was just like water. So that was rubbish, it was never gonna dry. I could have added more plaster again to make more, but then I've ended up with loads of plaster left over and I didn't really want that. Keep adding and stirring as you go. Then when you're happy with it and all of the lumps are out and it's smooth, you can then pour it into the molds. Now, do give these rock molds a spray, a quick spray with some water, just that way it allows it to sort of seep in a little bit better and you can take them out a little easier as well. Pour in enough so you get to the thickness of the molds. Level it out with a bit of wood or a spatula or some plastic. I mean, do be prepared that these things will get ruined. So just get a bit of off-cut wood like I've got. Level the backs out and then keep pouring until you're happy they're filled. I didn't actually make enough to fill both rock molds, but what you can actually do, you don't need to make them as thick as the molds are themselves. You can actually make them thinner. I'm going to pour a couple of other ones out and show you them slightly thinner than the molds are. It doesn't really make a difference. It means you won't have such a big piece, which if you want to add it onto something like a base and you don't want it to be too thick, just do this. They break easy, you can snap them and they're fine. So I've leveled those out as much as I can. I'm now gonna leave these to set for 10, 15 minutes. Whilst this is happening, I'm gonna go clean up and leave them so you can see them drying. I'm back, it's been about 15 minutes now and they seem to be pretty dry. So I'm gonna pop them out of these, show you the rock molds and then I'll show you what you can do with them afterwards. I'm not gonna paint them here, although there are many different techniques. You can do leopard spotting ones, so check out Luke's video there for those ones. Or if you want to see how we did them in both the Mars board and my big green board, I used this very same technique and these rock molds, well actually slightly different rock molds, but I used those in these boards as you can see here. I'm 
really happy with these boards. I think they look awesome and these rock molds are really realistic. Stick them up next to a model, they're nice, they're at a good scale, which is the most important thing. And there you have it, the rock molds are ready and done. They seem absolutely fine to me. I can break them if you like, and then these can be glued on to polystyrene or onto bases or anything, depending on what you're doing with them, and they look awesome. Easy as that. So I'll catch you guys in a second. Well, there you have it, you've seen them from start to finish. It really is that simple. It's like three things and one of them is water. If I can do them, it's probably idiot proof because I'm a bit of an idiot when it comes to terrain. I hope you like how they look. I think these are the best way to do rock moles. They're better than actual rocks and trying to find them. I've done bases before with slate and stuff and it just doesn't look as good. You can't really paint them. The advantage to these is that they're porous. So you can paint them with washes. It's like use a black, a brown, a yellow, and a bit of a dry brush overall, and you can really make these rocks look amazing like they do on this table I had done built with Luke. So check out the video there to see how we did that, uh, and that'll explain how to paint them. Um, but I just thought this would be an easy way to show you guys how easy it is to make these rock molds and how you just shouldn't be afraid. If you've enjoyed this video, please do remember to like, share, subscribe, and hit the alarm bell for more videos to come. If you want to see whichever materials I've used, look at the associate links below for the Woodland Scenics molds. There are other ones as well, but these are some of the best ones out there, I think. Go to Geek Gaming and the Luke's APS link for all basing materials and flocks and stuff like that, which should help your terrain even more. If you want to buy any models, do check out Grim Dice Gaming below as well. Uh, use the code BWG in the coupon at the checkout, and that gets me a small cut. And finally, there's my Patreon for those of you who feel you want to support the channel that way so I can grow and do more battle reports. I do these kinds of videos because I need to do them anyway, and I might as well show you what I've learned as a fairly novice board builder and how far I've come using these kinds of simple techniques. Thanks so much, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll catch you in another video.